Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at the Munsters. If you're new to the channel, I do want to welcome you here. And if you've been a subscriber for so long, I want to thank you for your constant support. We're going to be taking a look at some Munster bloopers. I really love this show. I have to put that out there before I start. And that's because some people may think that I'm putting these bloopers out to put the show down or something like that. And that's on the contrary. I love this show so much. I watch it so much, which is why I want to show you some pretty awesome moments that you may have missed where there are some clear bloopers. They're pretty fun to spot and to look at when you do look at them and I hope you do enjoy this video so let's take a look at them. first blooper comes from season 1 episode 5 the episodes called Pike's Peak now the city's gas department wants to run a pipeline 25 feet under the Munster's house unfortunately at that level it runs straight into grandpa's laboratory and this blooper deals with grandpa Al Lewis himself it's really interesting to see that he at one point says good night to everyone there's supposed to be a puff of smoke because he transforms into a bat and flies away. The interesting thing, if you look on the lower right hand side of the screen, after the puff of smoke appears, you see Alois duck and move out of the frame of the shot for that transformation. Of course, this was one of the first transformations he had during the course of the show. So we mean, we can't blame him too much. Now, rewinding just a little bit, we see Herman Munster lift up his own couch off the living room floor. You can see that there's a shadow of the actual forklift or crane that was used to lift the couch. You can see it right above in the mantle area. Now this is one of my favorite bloopers probably in this entire video and it comes from season one episode nine, Knock Wood, Here Comes Charlie. Now in this episode, Herman's twin brother Charlie, a fast talking con artist, comes to town and ends up staying at the Munsters home against Herman's wishes. Now what is very interesting about this blooper is that it is pretty long. It's, I don't know, 15 seconds long in the sense of you can see it for this amount of time. Usually bloopers are quick. Or but as Charlie's talking on the phone, you can see Lily next to him. And then on the extreme left, you can see an entire panel that's open with the entire crew there looking at the scene. It's almost like this is something that we're not supposed to see, obviously. And you can see the cameraman. You can see a couple of people in the crew. And they're just kind of sitting there watching the scene play out. It's so weird. It almost seems purposeful, like they wanted us to see this. But obviously, they didn't. Pretty cool. In the very next episode, episode 10, called Autumn Crocus, Feeling lonely, Grandpa contacts a matrimonial agency that promised to find him a mate. Now what's really interesting is that we see the stairs opening up, we see Herman Munster coming out, and we see Lily. We see an open door on the left hand side with an open hallway, and if you look closely there's a chair and a little boy that walks across the scene, almost like he was told, hey don't worry about it, you can walk across, no one will know that you're doing that, no one will see you on frame but it was so apparent and I'm surprised no one caught it in editing. Now continuing this same episode, we finally see the quote unquote mate for grandpa. She knocks on the door, Marilyn opens it and there's a lot of spider webs coming across the frame of the doorway. So in other words, if the woman were to walk across it, she would walk right into the spider webs. So that in itself was probably planned. You see that Marilyn moves them away, but the woman still gets caught with a bunch of spider webs and she walks across the room and they continue conversing. And for about a minute or so, that woman continues having spider webs along her whole arm and even parts of her chest. Finally, she gets introduced into Lily, and again, almost a minute after, she still has those spider webs. But as she goes to shake her hand, which is literally a second after, there are no spider webs. So, of course, they cut the scene and moved it along and cleaned her up. But it looks like a seamless moment. Pretty funny and comical to see. Season 1, episode 15 is called Herman's Rival. We see a blooper in this episode. Now, the context of the episode is that Lily thinks that Herman has lost his savings to a bad investment when he, in fact, lent it to her brother, the Wolfman. You see the man faint in the episode, and Herman crouches down to try to wake him up. The man wakes up, and then you see Lily and, of course, Grandpa, and when Herman rises up, you can see the top end of the set. It wasn't completed because they didn't think it would appear on camera, but in fact it does, and here it is, that blooper. Season 1, episode 25 is called Come Back Little Googie. Now, Grandpa's under the impression that he has accidentally turned Eddie's friend Googie 
into a monkey. We're first introduced into Googie and he sees the entire family when he finally goes to Herman Munster to shake his hand. Now the little boy has a hand buzzer, but when they zoom into his hand, you can see the hand buzzer, but you can clearly see that is not a little boy's hand. It is wrinkled and it is a very adult hand. Of course, he must have filmed this after the fact. Maybe they didn't get a good shot and they didn't have the kid around. So next time you watch this episode, take a look and you will see how much his hand is aged. <laughs> Moving on to Season 2, Episode 13, Underground Munster. Now in this episode, Spot, the Munster's pet, runs away and is mistaken for a dangerous monster when he is sighted in the sewer. Now in this episode, we see a lot of Spot, that is a lot of tail. Spot runs off, he leaves the front of the house and goes out of the main gate. We see Herman Munster kind of chase after him, he stops at the porch, stomps his foot, and all of a sudden the light falls on top of his head. We can see that this is an obvious stunt double because his face completely changes, although he has the makeup on, but he looks nothing like Herman Munster, or that is like Fred Gwynn. And about a second after you see the stunt double, it changes back to Herman Munster, that is Fred Gwynn. Season two, episode 28 is called Herman the Tire Kicker. Now Herman buys an old Chevy convertible for Maryland by a fly-by-night used car dealer. He was actually played by Frank Gorshin, who was the Riddler, or at least one of the Riddlers, in the old 1960s Batman TV show. Now what's interesting about this is that we see Herman Munster lift up a Volkswagen Beetle. If you look on the side, you see that there is, of course, a forklift that is raising it, or some type of crane, but you see the boom which helps to raise this Volkswagen Beetle. So it's nice to see that and to know that I guess Herman Munster needed a little help to lift up that car. And the last episode we're gonna focus on is the penultimate episode of the entire series. It is the 69th out of the 70th or the 31st episode in season two. It's called Herman's Lawsuit. Now when Herman gets hit by a car, he emerges unscathed, but the car is totaled. There is all this stuff that happens regarding an attorney and so forth that I won't get into, but I really want to focus on the scene where he gets quote unquote hit by a car. So you see the woman driving and you see Herman crossing the street. The impact happens and then all of a sudden we see the car quote unquote destroyed, but we do see some interesting things. Three tires are on the car, but a fourth isn't. You see it's come completely off of the car. What would happen in real life is that this car would tip over to that left side because there's no wheel there, but it's conveniently propped up by some type of a stand or frame so that the car stays rigid and leveled throughout the scene. Then we look at Herman and he falls back into a puddle of water. As he falls back, his entire top headpiece, where his hair is, falls off or it flops away. It comes off of its position where it's supposed to be on top of its head. And pretty much throughout the scene for a good, I don't know, minute or so, it's flopping back and forth until it is quickly cut and then we see that it is reattached. So it's kind of cool to see two bloopers in one scene. If you did enjoy this video, guys and gals, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. It does really help out my channel. It lets others see it. And it lets me know that you want to see other videos like this, possibly more Munsters bloopers or other type of bloopers. Just let me know down in the comments below what you think. What was your favorite blooper? And maybe any that I missed, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. I really love to read the comments and to see what you guys say. So I'm sure you caught some yourself. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to stay positive and most importantly, be hopeful. Mm -hmm.